Hi, welcome to How to Play Spider Solitaire. Um, I've got two videos. This is the how to play, and it's a really simple walkthrough on the easy level. And then we're also, if you watch my other video, going to get to see um, a more uh, difficult game. So, so the easy game, we're just going to play with one suit, and I'm going to explain what that means in a second. The more difficult games, you play with more than one suit. Check out my other video for playing with two suits and information on how to play like with four suits, the real hard stuff. So we're just going to start easy and go through it. So I'm going to hit play. And basically, first of all, you see everything is in the same suit spades because we're just playing with one suit. Now let me explain the goal of the game and how to play the game. The goal of the game is to get rid of all of the cards. And to get rid of all of the cards, you need to line up all the cards in a column from king down to 10, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, all the way down to ace. And, all, and when you can finally line them all up in one row, that's when you can get rid of the cards. Now, to line them all up in one row, you have to look, as we have in this deal, at what you have and start lining them up. So that... Uh, is a king goes on a queen. Notice as I move each card, the card underneath it opens up. So now we can move that to the 10. And now we can move a 10 there. And what we don't have is a 9, but there's other things we can do. For example, we can move this 7 on an 8. Now, as you can see, this is a very easy beginner level, but it's going to get a little difficult in the second, potentially. Um, and what you really want to do is just start at this point, at the beginner level, to try to just make everything one on top of the other and I'm gonna to get to something tricky in a second and actually I'm gonna to get to it right now you see there's this jack right here well there's two tens so there's a ten here and a ten here and either one of these could go on the ten so what sometimes you need to think about is what do I want to do now if I move this ten here I've created an open column, and it would allow me to move things into it. Not only, by the way, kings, like in uh, other types of solitaires, but you can move other things into it. Um, I'm going to hit undo. Or the other option is to move something like this into it, and then see what the card is underneath. Um, you're allowed to go backwards, by the way, by hitting undo. In fact, you can go backwards a long way. Um, that's part of the strategy of this game, is to be able to win and sometimes you go down the wrong road now I'm just gonna keep going I'm gonna take this one and move it over because my personal strategy on how to play these games sometimes is not even just to line up king through ace right away but try to turn over as many cards as I can and the only way to turn over as many cards as I can is by um, like I said doing this because I'd rather reveal that card um, now just looking at it here there really isn't anything that I can do to move anything on anything else. This six can't go on a seven. There is this can't go on a nine. So we're sort of there. I don't see any moves. So this is what you do. When you can't move any more, you see in the bottom left here, these deck of cards, you click on it, and you get another row. Now this is where the game finally starts to get interesting. Because, as you can see, look at this in this row, six and five, but look at the row next to it. You actually have three, two, ace, and then you have this seven here. So this three, two, ace has been blocked. It can't go anywhere. But until you clear it, so in this case you have a 7, you could move it to this 8, and now this 3-2 ace is clear to be moved. And as you can see, not every row is clear and clean right now. Uh, the 7 can move over there, that still flips a card, but look here, this is clean. But look, here's an 8-7-6 that I'd love to move here, but I can't because this 3 is in the way. So until I can find another place to move that 3, this is stuck like this. Here's a five blocking this 10. I can move this to a six. And every time you hit the button in the lower right and put a row of cards at the, at the end of every stream, the first thing you have to do is eventually figure out where to move all these cards to start organizing things. So I've probably moved this now, king eight, all the way down to six. Now here, six, five. If only I had a four, three, two, one, ace. I can clear that row, as I did. And as soon as you clear a row, you'll notice, oh, things become infinitely easier, and that's a good idea. Now, I can move this 10 here, but also I can move the 10 here and reveal a card, which I want to do, and that's a great idea. But I also could move maybe this 9 here. 
So let's see which nine is best. This one, I'm going to undo. I'm going to see if this nine is best. Well, actually that nine might be best because it allows me to do that. Um, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Um, and what I'm looking to do is just make another row starting with the king. And I can see here that this three is locked because of the five. I can see that this six is locked because of the eight. And what you want to do if you are all able to is unlock things. There you go. Now that six is free, I can move that there. And now that this is free, I, whoops. If you make, if, in this game, if you move something, you can, it gives you a warning. I don't like all the warnings I get. Okay, and the, so now there's the two on the three. And actually that ace can go there. And until you get another row, king all the way down to ace, you're not gonna be able to clear a row. Now, if you think this is confusing, wait till you go to the harder levels where you're actually playing multiple suits at the same time on the same um, lines. It makes it much, much more challenging. Um, so one of the things that you want to just keep doing is trying to move everything around as best that you can so that there's, um, until you get to this point where you really can't move anything anymore and then you're going to have to get another row. You're not allowed to get another row just hit, if there's an open column. So I'm trying to get another row as you can see, but there's no, but there's an open column there. So what I have to do is I can move perhaps something over like this. And now, now I could go ahead and get another column. So here we go. All right, so first things first, there's a whole bunch of new cards there that sort of blocks me from being able to do a lot of work. So you have to, as I call it, clean up. So this six will be on a seven. This 10 can move on to a jack. Um, and you don't want to forget that ultimately what you're still really looking to do here is make that king, queen, jack all the way down to ace. So um, I've got king, but I don't have a queen there. Um, I've got a ten. I've got um, a lot of things, unfortunately, that I can't move. This would definitely be a bad game um, because there isn't a whole lot of things I can move around. I can move this nine on an eight, and I can move this seven on a six, and I'm starting to get something here. Um, I can move this here, and now I have jack all the way down to six, and I have that jack all the way down to five. Um, if I could move this three, I could get at what's underneath that. If I could move this eight, I could get ace, I could get at what's underneath that. Um, whoops. Um, and as you can see, you can even break up. So here's a 10. I th th Don't show this again. I can still move some of that down to there. It doesn't do much good. I still, I'm missing a queen. Um, but ultimately, it seems like you're moving things back and forth, but if you're thinking about this, you actually are slowly building those um, whole streaks of cards. In this case, I don't see much I could do. Yeah, I hit hint, and here we go. All right, so at this point, it's starting to really stack up cards, which is where the game starts to get hard. You really want to make rows and clean yourself up and get out of here. So let's, let me focus on that right now um, as best I can. So here's a five, wait, here's a six, which can go on a four. So we can go like this, and this will create king all the way down to four. Uh, if I can move a three there, and a two there, and a one there, I can clean that row. Okay, great. Let's see if I can do it again. Uh, this doesn't work because I'm missing a queen there. Okay. Um, so let's see. Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Um, which is great, but I still need a queen and a king there. Um, Four could go on a five. Um, this four could go on this five. And then three, two, one can come down here. I'm missing that queen on the left side here, or this row would be done. And that's where sometimes the luck of the cards comes to play. Sometimes you just don't get the card that you need. Um, and sometimes, nope, there's that queen. So I can move that there and then move that back and clear out that row. That's nice. Um, 
now let's see. I have the fours, I have sixes, I have eights. I can move this over here and move the ten, and then allow me to move this queen, jack ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Clear that, um, which is good. Um, so let's see. Well, here I notice the eights in the way, so I can't move those. And I want to start to continue to unturn cards. So at this point, I'm just going to slowly turn cards to see what allows me more cards that I can move. Because for every card I can move, that's one card closer to getting to the end. Now, there is a trap at the end of this game, and it's looking like I'm in a better place now. It doesn't mean I'm going to win, because, and I'm going to tell you about this trap, which is if you get left with too few cards to be able to fill every roll, every row, you're actually, you've lost the game. So you can't do every card so much that you don't have um, anything left. So that's missing an ace. Um, so I'm, again, continuing to move cards out of the way. But what I really need to do is be careful. Because I'm starting to turn over a lot of cards. And I don't want to be caught. As you can see. I could keep going. And just to show you, I can. But now if I want to flip this over, I can't. So I have to sort of break things up to make the best that I can. And so now we're going to get the next row of cards. And even though it's looking like I'm in a good shape right now, you never know because some cards could come, just be in a bad order, block me, and I could lose. So right now I see I have a king. I'm going to try to build these two all the way down to the end. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Remember what I can't do? Is I can't make it so that I'm not, I, uh, I, uh, I have no space here. 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. But think about this. I don't want to go ahead and finish this because if I don't have enough rows, they won't, I've lost the game. So I'm going to actually undo this just to be able to get that last row of cards. And now I have to untangle these and I would be in a winning position. Um, as you can see, this actually was considered the easy one. So I'd like you, as, I, as I'm hopefully going to be able to finish this, um, I'd like you to th go ahead and take a look at my next video when you're playing with multiple um, decks and you'll get to see how hard it gets immediately as I've been talking about that. King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! Again, please watch the next video and how you're dealing with two suits where you're having to juggle um, two suits at the same time. You still need to make all spade columns or all club columns you're now having them overlap each other in a really complex way. Thanks for watching. Bye.